Okay, I want to do a quick video here about scanning into QuickBooks Online um, to make a sales receipt using barcodes. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to be also demonstrating Label Connector for QuickBooks Online because this is AccuWare's tool for making labels using your QuickBooks Online data so that you can then scan those barcodes after you've made the labels using Label Connector. Uh, and then you could scan them into really any application or into QuickBooks Online. But So I'm going to start with a demo here of just showing you how it can work when it's all done and then we'll work our way backwards. Okay, So I've got open here a sales receipt. This is what you'll have open when you're selling something over the counter in person. All you do is click into the product or service box and you can scan the barcode right into that box um, and it's going to pull in a valid item. It's got to be a valid item that's been barcoded and then you can tab over to the quantity and you can say give me quantity three of that and then you could if you had all your items barcoded I just got one here but you could just keep scanning to check out the person and build this sales receipt by using barcodes. So QuickBooks Online will accept barcodes. It doesn't accept the repeat scanning like if I scan the barcode three times it doesn't increment this value. Um, but it can pull in your items um, quite nicely in here and add the item to your sales receipt or to your invoice, whatever you want to do. Um, so in this case, I, I, I had kind of a lengthy product or service name, but you could really I recommend that be an alphanumeric number if you're making alphanumeric you know, value, if you're making new products to use with barcodes. But we can still scan and make barcodes out of this kind of data if we use uh, like a 2D barcode is what I'd recommend. So, um, so I'm going to back up here now. So I'm showing you the you know the kind of the fruits of getting everything barcoded. You can scan it into QuickBooks Online, but you got to figure out okay how am I going to make all my barcode labels using my QuickBooks item data? Um, and that's where Label Connector for QuickBooks Online comes in. Um, basically, what I've got here is um, you can print labels using you know all these different types of transactions and a lot of people do that they print tons and tons of labels using invoices or purchase orders but here I'm just going to use a simple items list um, and we can pull in your items with a you know quick sync of the items like this and you can just say get all items and we pull them all in so we've got them here on the screen now that item that I was just scanning earlier uh, is this ray lantern right here so if I just uncheck all of these and I just check that one item and I you know just for the demo here I've got a label that I'll show you how I made it in here you can just print that label using label connector and boom you've got this this is the barcode that I just scanned and that's a data matrix barcode it's a two-dimensional barcode we can give you more information about this stuff when we discuss it but um, basically I just created this uh, you know item with you know this as some of the SKU information. This is the description of the item. And then I took the, the QuickBooks item name and put that in barcode form here. So in fact, I can scan that right off of the screen. It even works right off the screen. Um, but uh, you can scan this barcode right into your QuickBooks Online. Um, and when you do that, you know, this value that was in the item name value when it's in the barcode it'll come out onto the screen right here and so you close the loop right so basically you use label connector to generate your labels and you can use QuickBooks Online to then scan those labels once you've labeled everything into your QuickBooks Online um, so this label design I made I'll just show you a little bit about the designer but basically I made this label ahead of time uh, and I took the you know the item name value from uh, QuickBooks Online uh, that goes here, and then um, we're pulling like the item name into this barcode here. And I the type of barcode I uh, created with this was a data matrix type barcode. You can use QR codes as well. Um, data matrix is a little bit better when the data is varying uh, the QR codes that are out there in the world you notice they're fixed data that's a web page usually we're, we're gonna build this barcode on the fly with different data every time for every item right and then we put the description of the item on the label here so we have a full you know designer that comes with the product um, you can 
drag any value from QuickBooks, you know, out onto the label and boom, you've got that as a text value on your label. You can do static text on the label as well, you know, by just typing right into the box like your website here, you know, and it would just put, if you were to type your website, you could have your website on the label if you want, um, you know, a lot of times at the bottom people want to do that. So anyway, um, so this is how you design the label. We can get, give you details. There's detailed videos on using our designer. Um, this is, uh, yeah, we'll save the template. And then this is where you would print the labels either from the items list or using, you know, invoices or any transactions you want to produce the labels. But then once you've got these item names in barcode form in a label, then you can scan those into this box. Uh, you could scan into an invoice as well, uh, the same way. If I were to, uh, let's see if I can do that quickly here. Save, uh, yes, we'll leave without saving. New, and we'll do an invoice, let's say. Same thing, it's just like a sales receipt. Um, so you can, you know, scan the value, you know, right into this box. And you can pull that value in. So, uh, works great with barcode scanning. Um, Please contact Label Connector from AccuWare Incorporated. If you have any further questions, uh, you can, we have links in the um, description of the video on how to reach us by phone or by email um, and our website. Thank you. Website. Thank you.